Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The Transport Ministry has announced that as of Monday, August 16, bus and taxi fares will be going up by 15%. However, there will be no change to JUTC's rates. The Transport Ministry says after eight years since the last adjustment, this increase creates the right balance. The University Hospital of the West Indies has confirmed that it is now at 100% of its capacity for COVID patients. And according to the hospital, 96% of those admitted were not vaccinated, while the remainder had only received one dose of the AstraZeneca jab. Meanwhile, Jamaica today recorded 14 more COVID deaths. At the same time, there were 375 new infections. The number of people in hospitals continued to go up. Now, 350 with 75 moderately ill and 35 critical. Akampong Maroon Chief Richard Curry has reacted to the announcement by the Firearm Licensing Authority that it will be probing an incident in which he displayed a shotgun during a confrontation with the police in Akampong, St. Elizabeth. The members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the members of the Firearm Licenses Authority are not elected by my people. I am. I must inform the entire Jamaican public that I do not seek permission to defend my people. In sports, the Sunshine Girls are set to be back on the court for the Margaret Beckford Sunshine Series from October 10 to 22 at the National Indoor Sports Center. In your currency trading today, it was costing $155.21 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $215.91, and the Canadian dollar for $124.83. In your weather forecast, Friday will be cloudy with periods of showers and thunderstorms across the island. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.